It could happen to anyone. A popular neighborhood gym closes without any warning. And now members say they're out a lot of money. They say they tried to get some answers from the gym owners. But when they got nowhere, they called KXAN investigator Arzo Dost. I trusted myself to them. Their voices echo across the shopping center. I've been coming all these years. Yeah. One by one, they congregate. It was not only a place to work out, but a place to socialize. Some just met. Others are longtime friends. When I had breast cancer nine years ago, it's like... My friends were, my support group was my aqua ladies. On this day, they're here trying to work something out. It's just a shame. This handwritten sign, the only thing letting members know that Premier Lady Fitness is gone. It was slowly going downhill as far as repairs. No warning, no explanation. Members say they showed up one day in July only to find the South Austin gym empty. I have 10 months left on my contract. That's a lot of money, 10 months. Absolutely. Pre prepaid. At least 30 members showed up just to talk to KXAN, desperate to be heard. Now they won't return any phone calls to tell us what's next. How much money are you owed? Approximately 240 bucks. I'm, I'm frustrated that they have $400 of mine. It's close to my home, and now I have to find another place. The gym's contract for these women says if the club goes out of business and does not have another location within 10 miles, they can cancel. Turns out there is another Premier Lady Fitness up north, so we wanted to check to see if it was actually within 10 miles. So we jumped in the car and about 19 minutes later, not even in rush hour, we were at the north location. Door to door, it's about 13 miles, which according to this contract means these ladies should be able to get their money back. This is Arzo Dost over at KXAN News. We called several times and left messages for owner Nicole Atwood, but she never called back. I'm Arzo with KXAN. I've been trying to reach you. Okay. So we caught up with her outside the gym, still open. A lot of women are wondering if they're going to be refunded their money. Um, we are working on that, and that is our end goal. Yeah. I just, I don't have a timeline for that or anything. Court records show Atwood's landlord sent her a letter a few days before the closure. It says she owes more than $80,000 in past due rent and late fees. The letter also says after several unsuccessful attempts to collect her money, the landlord terminated the lease and demanded that Premier Lady Fitness leave the property right away. Court records show the gym began falling behind on its rent in spring of 2014 and has been in default since, though the gym maintains it received no notice it owed money. It was not our choice to close. So, what does that mean? Um, it means that if we could have stayed in that space, we would have. So, w why didn't you notify anybody? We weren't notified. Former workers tell KXAN some of the gym equipment started disappearing weeks before the closure. They also say they found these old contracts in the dumpster with the members' personal information along with check and credit card numbers. Now, we contacted those we could make out in the photos to let them know they may want to check their bank accounts. And, of course, we'll keep checking back with Premier Lady Fitness to see if these members actually get their money back. Well, what does the owner say those women can do in the meantime? Well, she says they are more than welcome to go to their other location. All right, Arza, thank you very much. We will keep checking back with you on this. And we also check to see what policies other gyms have when it comes to closing. The contracts at Gold's Gym, 24-Hour Fitness, and Pure Austin Fitness pretty much say the same thing as Premier Lady Fitness. If the gym goes out of business and does not provide another option within 10 miles, you can cancel your membership. So what can you do so this doesn't happen to you? You can always look for a gym that doesn't require contracts, and you can pay month to month. Those with contracts usually require a certified letter to cancel. If you're still waiting and haven't gotten a refund, then you can also look into small claims court. You don't need a lawyer, and it's basically a lawsuit that can be filed at your local justice of the peace. Remember, this investigation started with a viewer tip. When Arzo reached back out, 
these women started lining up. If you need us to look into a consumer issue for you, email us at reportit at kxan.com.